So this is week three of the beginner's weight loss workout. And I told you you need a few things this week, and one is being a band. You can get this from any sports store or Walmart for about $9. There's different thicknesses, which means that they're different strengths. This is a medium strength one, so you can get what you feel that you're capable of using. You're also gonna need a chair, and then also, of course, as usual, our Gym Boss Timer that you can get at gymboss.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer and start with a warm up. The timer, by the way, is also set at minute intervals as it was last time. So we're just gonna jog in place. So we're kinda of getting a cardio in there, but we're also gonna get a little bit of a warm up for this one. So I told you that the intensity was gonna increase over the weeks. This is gonna be a little more intense, and you'll notice instead of using nothing when we do certain exercises, we'll be using a band, such as when we do bicep curls. So things will feel a little bit harder. Hopefully by now you've been doing your diet tips. You can tell a difference already just in the two weeks of following the videos. This first one we're not gonna need a band for. We're just gonna be using the chair. So you're gonna have your chair ready for the first one. Remember you can jog slower, this is too fast for you. Something to get you kind of warmed up. Okay, I'm gonna do a minute. Okay, squats on the chair. And I want you to start going a little deep in your squats if you can, okay? I'm gonna have the chair, have my feet about shoulder width apart. And you're gonna try to touch your butt on that chair every time you go down. So have the arms out in front. Now, why do I have the chair? For one, it keeps you from putting your knees over your toes. It makes you sit back, put your booty back. Another thing is for safety. So if you do happen to go down a little too far, you'll just land on the chair. Touch the chair. No, no, just barely touching that chair. Back to my legs. Now if you want to go a little slower on these and concentrate more, that's fine. Whatever level that you're at. So of course our next one's gonna be cardio. But you're going to find that even doing leg exercises that you feel your heart rate going up. Okay, now we have high knees. Now, high knees. Before we were kind of doing, you know, like this, I want you to start going a little bit higher. Try to get to a goal where you can put your hands up and try to get to your hands. You can still do these slow, or you can do them faster. Obviously, the faster you go, the harder it's going to be. And then if you want to add a little more intensity even next to that, Swing your arms, makes it a little more intense. <clears throat> Next, we're going to be using our band. We're going to be doing bicep curls. Now, if you remember before, I taught you the form without using a band. This time, you're going to use a band. Get those knees high. Okay, now you're going to grab your band and then quickly put this under both feet. Now if you notice I'm leaving a little space in there, make it a little bit harder. Arms in front like we did last time, up and down. Now depending, again, on the strength of your band, some are easier than others. So side view, look like this. My knees are not locked out, slightly bent a little bit, abs are tight, I go all the way down all the way up and I like to tell people you're keeping your elbows basically as if you had some love handles right here that's where you want to have your elbows so they're always resting in front and what that does it ensures that you get the full range of your bicep curl so you want these to be a little bit more concentrated so you want to go slow you don't want to be whipping these out really fast Okay, next one's a shuffle. So I want you to do shuffle, shuffle, touch, shuffle, touch, shuffle, shuffle, touch. If you can't bend over and touch the ground, that's fine. You can just bend down a little bit. The reason why I have you bend down and touch, it's hard when you gotta get up and come back down. So this makes it more intense every time you have to come up and down of an exercise. It just makes it harder.
Next time we're gonna use the band with our squat. So the chair one was a good practice warm up one for the next one. Remember if you have to stop in this at any time, you take a little breather, breathe a few seconds and then try to just keep starting again. Continuing on. So you can go as fast as you want. That would be a fast speed. Okay, I was going a little bit slower. Okay, band on this one. Under both your feet, shoulder width apart. I'll show you side view. You're gonna go down and up. Down and up. Now technically, you could do this in front of the chair if you wanted, if you needed that extra help. Sit in the chair. It's a forward view. Knees not over my toes. If it gets to be too much with the band going up, just hold it right here. This just adds a little resistance to your squat coming in. So you don't have to add the overhead press. And just squat, just holding it right here. Maybe try half and half. Half doing this and half doing this or every other. Whatever you feel is good for you. Again, you're going to feel your heart rate a little higher in this workout. It's a little bit harder workout. Okay, this is going to be jump in a square. We're going to pretend like we have a square right here. Okay, we're going to do the hard version first. Just making a square. Okay, that's the harder version. Easy version, single foot. You might even just be walking. Okay. Try to get a little hop in there. Making a little square. Have you ever done any kind of dance? You've probably done some kind of dance where you have to do a square pattern. Maybe the harder version. So I'm just outlining a little square. And next time we're going to do upper body again. You notice we kind of did a little upper body in that last one too. Did both on that one. Single. Okay, so everybody, this is dips. Okay, dips are kind of interesting. You can really do all alternate things with these. Put your legs straight, it's harder. Okay? Knees in, it's easier. I'm gonna show you the easier one. You want to stay as close as you can to that chair. I want you to just do little ones, okay? This is the easier version. This would be the harder version. You don't go below. 90 with your arms. Notice I'm not going forward. I'm trying to keep mainly triceps, not so much chest and front delt. Okay? I'm trying to stick my upper body up straight and stick more to a lot of triceps. So you may have to stop and rest for a few seconds. Okay? You can't continue on. I just do little baby ones. Okay? And then it's a long time to do dips. Like I said, if you can go more, put feet out. If you can't, feet in. Maybe dips. Okay, last one's cardio. Ski hop. Okay, this is the hard version. Okay, easy version. Okay, kind of using your arms like you're really skiing. Okay, hard version again. Like I said, if you can do both, that's fine. Most people find they can't on a beginner workout do the hard version. But I want to appeal to some people that are able to do a little bit more. Now you can tell as I'm talking, I'm a lot of breath. Some would bite just too much, go slower. Okay. So as a beginner, if I feel like, oh my goodness, I can't even talk when I'm breathing, I feel like my heart rate's really high, then that's what I want to slow down a little. Okay. Here's the hard version. Good job. Let's turn this thing off. For this week, what I want you to do is when you eat, I want you to eat only until you don't feel hungry anymore. So in other words, when you're eating, most of us think we have to eat until we feel actually like full. Now I want you to start learning to eat a different way. You eat until you think, okay, I'm not hungry anymore, I'm done. 
when you have that feeling, you're done. That's when you get up from the table. And then that way, you'll be hungry, hopefully more frequently, so you're eating more frequent. Instead of eating larger meals and eating less of them, I want you to eat smaller meals more often.